Hello, this is Winton, and I'm going to show you the demonstration of how we can easily deploy IBM Cloud Integration Platform to IBM Cloud Private. IBM Cloud Integration Platform is the container-ready version of IBM middleware stack that includes IBM API Connect, IBM App Connect Enterprise, or the Enterprise Service Bus, IBM SSQ, and IBM Event Streams. IBM Cloud Private is the enterprise-grade uh, ready version of uh, Kubernetes that is supported by IBM. IBM has packaged the Kubernetes with all the um, platform management functions the, and includes the um, catalog of services and DevOps services and automation using Cloud Automation Manager, Multi-Cloud Manager, and many more stuff. And after we deploy the IBM Cloud Integration Platform, and in this case, I'm going to deploy the AppConnect Enterprise or DSB. I'm going to deploy an application onto the AppConnect Enterprise instance running on ICP. And I'm going to show you how we can configure the scaling policy on ICP. Um, scaling policy is a policy that defines the performance threshold of uh, an application running on ICP so that uh, ICP could scale up the number of pods when the application um, exceeds a certain uh, threshold. Um, the threshold in this case is the CPU. We can define the percentage. And in order to generate the workload, I'm going to use the IBM Rational Performance Tester to generate the workload to the application running on the AppConnect Enterprise in ICP. And from there, we can see how ICP um, scale up the number of pods quickly when getting the workload. So let's take a look at the demo. I'm going to log into the IBM Cloud Private Web Console. I'm going to enter my username and password. And I'm going to access the catalog. The catalog uh, is uh, showing us the list of uh, Helm charts that we can deploy. There are various Helm charts from many categories that we can deploy. One of them is the integration. And in the integration uh, Helm charts, we can see there, there's this IBM App Connect Enterprise uh, dashboard, IBM App Connect Enterprise server, um, CIP production, event stream production, dev, and others that we can deploy. So I'm going to deploy IBM App Connect Enterprise server. Yeah, and you can see the overview of the Helm chart. There is the introduction, the prereq, and the commands to install the chart. If you plan to use the um, Helm command line, and I'm going to configure so that we can deploy the AppConnect Enterprise server. So I'm going to give you the name and I'm going to choose a uh, namespace, for example, the ICIP. And I'm going to put some parameter. Uh, 
for example, change the number of replica or number of pods. And the other important parameter is the image pool secret, since I'm going to download it from the local uh, Docker registry. And I'm going to use the persistence here. And with this button, we're ready to install. Yeah, and with this, the Helm chart is uh, being deployed to IBM Cloud Private, and we can see the status. So we are waiting for the pod to be ready. When it's ready, the number will be showing one of one. Okay. So after the pod is ready, then we can start accessing the App Connect Enterprise Server instance. Yeah, so now the App Connect uh, server has been uh, provisioned. You can see the status is uh, one of one and running. And I'm going to launch the web UI so that we can see the web UI of the App Connect Enterprise server. We see that there is uh, no application is uh, deployed there yet. Uh, and this is the UI of the App Connect uh, Enterprise Server. And I'm going to switch to the App Connect Enterprise uh, Development Toolkit. And here I have a sample message flow which is a REST request API to get user, okay. And from the App Connect Enterprise Toolkit, I can integrate with the App Connect Enterprise on IBM Cloud Private. As you can see here, I've already configured the integration. And from here, I can deploy to the um, App Connect Enterprise server by drag and drop the bar file. I've uh, regenerated the bar file before. And the deployment is uh, completed so that we can see all the uh, components are deployed and we can go back to the App Connect Enterprise Web GUI refresh and then we can see the application have been deployed in the App Connect Enterprise server. So we're going to look at the API and we can test the API. I'm going to put the user ID and you can see this uh, application is uh, running. So now I'm going to go back to the um, IBM Cloud Private Web Console and I'm going to create a scaling policy. Again, um, scaling pro policy, um, is a policy where we can define a threshold of a CPU utilization of a, of an application running on ICP. In this case, it's the App Connect enterprise. And on the scale target, I'm, I'm going to input the deployment name of the App Connect enterprise server. Then we can define the minimum replication, say two or maybe one, and the maximum is uh, 10. And what is the target CPU? 
and do this demonstration, I'm going to set a very low target at 10. And I'm going to just click create so that the scaling policy is uh, created. So once it's created, um, any workload that is generated to the AppConnect uh, server. And when the CPU reaches a certain threshold, ICP will automatically increase the number of replica and it will reduce the number of replica as well. Now I'm going to generate the workload using regional performance tester. What you see here is the original performance tester workbench. The workbench is used to create the script by doing recording and it, we can run the uh, regional performance tester script also from here. So I already created a script and also the um, load uh, generator schedule. Hereby, we're gonna run 100 users for about one minute and 200 users for another one minute and 300 users for another one minute. And the, the workload generator will keep on uh, executing the get user API call. So to run the load generator, we just click this button run view schedule and the uh, performance testing um, is now starting up. And as we have the um, rational performance tester generates the workload to the AppConnect enterprise server on IBM Cloud Private, um, we can see um, that we have created a scaling policy um, that will scale up the pod of the AppConnect uh, enterprise server on ICP. When the CPU of the pod exceeds 10%, and this is the minimum replica of one and the maximum replica of 10. And we can check the deployment and see how many servers are there. So we can see that ICP have uh, scaled up the AppConnect enterprise server automatically from one pod to four pods as a result of getting the workload from the rational performance tester. And the scalability here is very fast and also automatic. And this really resolves a lot of challenge in a monolithic architecture of uh, AppConnect Enterprise, whereby it really takes time to add another instance. And with that, I conclude my demo of the microservices SOA use case.